So you want to make money online. You want to build an online business, right? You have no clue to where to start. Well, in this video, I'm going to help you with that and a lot more. Now, the first place that you want to start with building your online empire is making a decision on what type of lifestyle that you want. I've been making money online since 2000 in various capacities, selling physical products, selling information, digital products, counseling, consulting, all types of things. But one thing has not changed since 2009. There was two halves. There was pre-2009 and then it was after 2009. 2009 and before I wasn't living the lifestyle that I wanted. I was making money online and I also had physical presence, but 68 to 75% of all leads for our business were generated online in some capacity. Now I'm 100% online, you know, AKA the digital citizen. But the thing is, 2009 and after, I wanted a certain lifestyle. I didn't want to deal with traffic. I didn't really want to meet a lot of people. I didn't want to hang out because, you know, I get invitations to come speak at events and hang out, but I don't want to do that because that's not part of my lifestyle. Now that may be your lifestyle. It may be something that you love, something that really, really excites you, but it's just not my thing. Like I said, I take two, three, four trips a year. I'm good. But that's my decision. What's your decision? Have you even thought that far ahead? Because if you go ahead and get on a trend or adopt a business model that doesn't jive well with your lifestyle, you're going to start to feel stuck and you're going to start to feel a lot of pressure and you're going to feel, you're going to start to feel like you create a job for yourself. And isn't that the thing you're trying to escape? When you're setting up your internet business, if you're purely online business, you need to ask yourself this very important question. What kind of lifestyle do you want to have? Now, you don't hear about that. You hear about the laptop lifestyle and things like that. But no, I'm talking about, are you married? Do you want to be at home with your kids? Do you like to travel? Because the lifestyle that you really, really want could not happen because of the internet business model that you pick. And we'll talk about that next. Now, what kind of life do you want? Have, have you ever thought about it? Because, you know, everyone's like, hey, I want to escape the nine to five. That's not good enough. You really need to nail it down. I'll give you my decision on my lifestyle. I absolutely despise traffic. I get road rage. I don't want to be around a bunch of people. I don't want to work with folks I can't stand. There's a long list, but I'm just kind of pointing you in the right direction. So I created a lifestyle model that fits what I want how I want to live I like going to the gym in the middle of the day with the old folks I like doing my banking running my errands and stuff at 10 to 2 o'clock when there's really no one there. there there are no lines I love that that's the lifestyle that I want that might be really boring for you but that's what I picked and that's what I arranged all this stuff around now if you go ahead and pick an internet business model that impedes on your lifestyle it's going to start to feel like a job and sooner or later you're going to hate that job now how do you pick your lifestyle you got to ask yourself some questions you got to take a little time to yourself and really figure that out before you start looking at the money because i'm telling you from experience how it can be i'll give you an example when i was in the storage auction business the business provided me the money that i wanted but it didn't provide me the physical freedom I had to be at the auctions when they had them. I had to unload the units during a very tight window. So the money was there, but, and I really enjoyed what I did, but I did not have the physical freedom of a digital citizen lifestyle. And I'm telling you from experience that you can get something and it makes a lot of money. You're doing quite well. And it can start to cave in on you because you may want to do more. You may want to be at events you may want to spend more time at home so it's definitely something you got to understand before you pick your business model let's talk internet business models first of all the number one and easiest way to make money online is to sell a physical product 
Number two easiest way to make money online is to become an affiliate of a physical product. Number three is to have a service that you sell online. And number four is to become an influencer. Now that's a little different. Now I'll break it down. Physical products, super easy. Selling the affiliate stuff, uh, that gets tricky because there's a lot that's going on. They're probably the safest affiliate program to become part of is Amazon's program. Now I don't have a lot of experience with affiliate marketing. I'm just letting you know as my fiduciary duty, as your advisor to let you know what's out there. But my preference is creating your own stuff. And another way that you can make money online is to sell digital products. Now there are more like software as a service, but you've got to hire a, a coder if you don't know how to code. So it gets a little complicated. But there are more, but these are typically the top four that are most people can get into and are within the reach of most people. Now, in that is you got a choice because you could go durable business model or you can go trendy business model. Now, a trendy business model is what's hot. A few years ago, Frozen was all over the place and everyone was buying Frozen products and shipping at Amazon FBA and selling it merchant fulfill. That's all well and good, but that is short-term money and that short-term thinking because if you don't pick a durable business model, and I'll give you an example of that in a second, then you're always chasing something. You're never building something, you're chasing something. And the chase can get a little fatiguing at time. Now, durable business model is something that's just not gonna go away. I picked t-shirts. If you're part of hustlerskungfudojo.com, then you'll know that I am working on a durable business model. Now, why did I pick t-shirts? T-shirt is a, it's a crowded market. Everybody's in it. And that's exactly why I'm jumping in. It's a crowded market. It's a durable market. Unless people stop wearing clothes, folks are going to be wearing t-shirts for the next few decades until we get into that snap your fingers and you get dressed stuff, which is coming. But for, let's say, next 40, 50 years, t-shirts and clothing are going to be a good bet. Now, if you get in it from a trendy standpoint, you'll be frustrated because typically when you do a durable business model, you put in more time more energy, more effort, and more money than when you follow a trend. So as you're sitting there putting together your lifestyle and you're putting together your business model, you gotta ask yourself some questions. Like, there's a business model online that's an extension of selling digital products, which is to become a speaker. That's a business model. Now, it doesn't work for me based upon my lifestyle decision. I don't want to be in a different city every weekend. You may like that. You may have fun with that. That's not for me. So because of my choice of lifestyle, that business model is not available to me because it doesn't fit. Now, this is really important because when you have the philosophy and you make a decision on what kind of lifestyle you want to have and you're real about it, it makes it easier to turn stuff down because it doesn't fit if you get what I'm saying. But those are just a few ideas to give you, you know, to point you in the right direction because that's essentially what this video is, to point you in the right directions because you have to do the heavy lifting. Now, this is another question that you never see anywhere else. Would you buy the shit that you're trying to sell? Ask yourself that question. Would you buy it? Be honest. If you pause, that tells you the truth. Now, I know this sounds very lofty, but I'm, I'm gonna get into it. When you're selling something that you would not buy, and there are many people who do it every day, it's harder, it's much harder. So when you're putting together your online business, and if you're selling something that you're not particularly interested in, like, I'm not interested in internet marketing. I'm not interested in speaking. I'm not really interested in that stuff. So for me to do it, it is such a struggle. I could do it and I can make money, but I'm going to struggle. Now, what was the reason for setting up my digital citizen life? Not to do shit I don't wanna do. So why are you gonna force yourself to do something? Now, there's a difference between being fearful and there's a difference between not having a real interest. Big difference between the two. Because I have had many events where people invite me to speak and it went very well. That's not the problem. I just don't like it. So 
With that in mind, when you're building your online business, you're going to have to send out a lot of emails. You're, you're going to have to talk to people. You're going to have to promote your service or product over and over and over. And if it's something you really don't like, that's a job. That's a task. That's very hard. Hustlerskungfu.com is how I live. It's part of my life. The courses are direct life experiences from the things that I went through. I lived it. I breathed it. So it's very easy for me to sell this stuff. It's very easy for me to tell you. It's going to take you two to six years for you to get to a business that's going to pay you enough money to pay your mortgage and other things. And some people do it in six months, but typically 24 months is still fast. But many people like, hey, who got time for that? And it's a problem. But building your business, you have to invest in something that you truly care about because it will come through in your promotional efforts. It'll come through in your marketing. So if you're just sitting there they're like, womp, 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 people will know. They will know you don't give a shit. So my advice to you is not to sell some shit that you're not interested in and not to sell some shit you wouldn't buy. Serious. Because it's a grind. I'm telling you it's a grind. All right. So that wraps up this. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And actually, when you comment on the video, comment about stuff that's in the video. It was greatly appreciated by the management.